What's up guys, this is that Pass Tutorial Dudes, here making my first Android tutorial I have in Samsung Galaxy S4, so that's what I'll be using for most of these. And today I'm going to show you how to record your screen in using an S4 or a Nexus device. This is because um the other app that most people use, uh, Screen Capture I think it's called, doesn't work. So here I'm going to show you an app called SCR. You can get this in the Play Store, you have to have a rooted device obviously. And I'm just going to show you how this thing works. So first, um, I, I had to take screenshots of this because you can't actually record while doing it. Um, when, it, when you tap the app, it has a very simple user, user interface. You can turn it off, you can start recording, or you can go to the settings. So for the settings, as you can see here, um, it gives you a few different options for the audio. You can either have mic or off, so no audio. Um, for the resolution, you can have it, there's a bunch of different settings here. I have mine set at, um... 720p which is right below the max um because if you have a a device with like a a screen that's 1080p i wouldn't recommend actually doing 1080p i would bump down a setting to get smoother recordings or i would go with 480p so i'd do either 480p or 720p at the top those are the two settings i would i would recommend doing so um that's for the resolutions but if you have a slower phone obviously go with 480 and by 480 i mean the upper 480 one the lower 480 is a completely different resolution so after resolution comes the target frame rates and um these are the different settings you can have um over 30 fps but i have mine set at 20 because i think that is a good balance it doesn't seem like it's flickering but it is um, slow enough that it, that it does a good job of not lagging when I'm using it when I'm trying to record a video. So that's why I prefer uh, the 720 FPS frame rate. Um, if you you guys, if you want to try the higher settings or lower settings depending on how fast your device is. Um, I ha I'm hiding my notification icon so you can't see it in the upper corner. For image transformation, um, if you have an, like an S4, a really good CPU based phone or device i would recommend uh, at least trying cpu uh, for me i haven't had any issues so i just i'm keeping it on gpu but if you have like a nexus i would recommend uh, putting it on gpu because those have a little better graphics cards as compared to the cpus that they have so um those are your settings um say okay and now i'm just gonna kind of demonstrate how smooth it is um it's this is remember this is 720 resolution this is a really high resolution and it's doing a really good job of recording it and i'm just going to quickly demonstrate here so here we go i'm playing game I, I turn the volume off just so you guys can hear and as you can if you look how smooth it is it's uh it's actually quite impressive So as you can see, it's a very, very smooth, good recorder. It works very well for all of the um, devices that Screencast does not work on. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, I would strongly recommend buying the Pro version if you, if you don't want the watermark or if you want to break the time limit set on it. Um, it's a very good uh, recording device. If you want to make tutorials or even uh, like gaming reviews, it um, like I said, it. It's just really, really good. I would strongly recommend using it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.